Proctor, like countless other brilliant self-help business gurus, their ingenuity seems to climax in email marketing campaigns, self-published books, and simply spewing false information in order to keep you hooked. Proctor really adds no value to the financial and business information that is already widely available for free. He is there as an actor to convince the soft, emotional, and broken down people that he is their solution to life. Unless you're engaging with Proctor's content as a form of pure entertainment, you are likely wasting your time and money. You may know Bob from The Secret, a film which has been heavily criticized over the years for good reason. In retrospect, that film is more of a documentary about scumbag self-help gurus than it is about anything else. But Bob still milks that for all it's worth, featuring it prominently on his website to win over potential customers. Something I think a lot of people forget about these kinds of schemes and people is that it's all marketing and advertising. None of the crap they say is genuine, authentic, or real. It all serves one end, to take your hard-earned money. Seriously, you're better off going to book a free appointment with your bank's financial advisor than paying Bob Proctor a dime. Proctor wears fancy suits in order to appeal to his crossover customer base, where spirituality meets business. It's a good racket because it allows people to justify to themselves that perhaps Proctor is business focused or not just talking about that woo woo crap that every other guru talks about. He's real, he's business. Proctor will often advertise that he has made millions of dollars and that you can too. He'll teach you, but not everyone is going to be able to run a massive scheme that earns money by telling other people how to earn money. But actually he doesn't teach you anything, he just lists off cliche after cliche and then happily swipes your credit card. And this isn't something that Bob Proctor is a stranger to. No, no, no. He's been involved in pyramid schemes and MLMs for a long time. You might remember Vema, the totally legit but actually still illegal and fraudulent MLM that picked up serious steam by taking advantage of college students? Well, it should come as no surprise that Bob Proctor and his wife were deep into that pyramid scheme. Of course, they were a lot higher up than the college kids they took advantage of for years before being shut down by the FTC in order to pay the U.S. government $238 million. The way you were describing it, you weren't telling her to go sell a drink. You were telling her to go sign up some friends and make money. Then those friends make money if they sign up friends. Buying product. That sounds a little like it, doesn't it? Well, yes, but it's not, it's not an illegal pyramid scheme. It's a direct selling network marketing company. Is it shaped like a pyramid, the business it structure? It is shaped like a pyramid, yes. I'm going to share an idea with you that could not just change your business, but could change this entire company. Now, Vima is, it's got a head of steam built up. You know that. I've been fortunate enough to watch the company grow right from the first day. And I had the pleasure of speaking at the very first meeting. And I've watched this company literally bloom. It sounds like a get-rich-quick scheme. Yes, thank you. You will get rich quick. We all will. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se. It's... I have to go make a call. When you go to Proctor's website, you are constantly being sold, convinced, coerced, and manipulated into buying his products. Currently, you're greeted by a pop-up to sell you on the science of getting rich. It's a science, so it must work, right? Just give me the formula. You will get rich quick. We all will. Where is one of Bob Proctor's actual businesses? If he's such an incredible businessman and he knows how to harness the secrets of the universe, why is he only making money from telling you how to make money? People desperately want to believe that this stuff is true because it's a shortcut to a supposed better life and it's about getting rich fast. Deep down, I don't think anybody really, truly believes it. But 
anyone can be convinced and manipulated, especially if you really need money. And these types of people have no problem taking it from you and running away. Yeah, Bob Proctor really seems to have a brilliant business sense at the heart of his brand. If you want to learn about trickery, misleading advertising, scams and pyramid schemes, then Bob Proctor probably is your guy. If you want to actually increase your financial literacy and learn how to get the most out of the money you earn, then you want to stay as far away from this guy as you possibly can. The hard truth is that sitting on your ass at a seminar won't make you any money. Most millionaires are ordinary people who have worked hard consistently over a period of time, usually with a business they built from the ground up and then had the discipline to save most of the extra money they made. Even if you're just a regular person working a regular job, saving money takes sacrifice and hard work in the form of educating yourself, becoming more financially literate, and learning how you can make the most from what you earn. These are all things that are possible and you can get all of the information that you need for free. Some of Bob Proctor's programs and seminars go as high as $15,000. For the average person, taking that money and investing it in an intelligent way is gonna be far more valuable than spending eight hours in a hotel conference room with a guy wearing a cheap suit trying to convince you that he knows how to make you a million dollars. The hard truth is that by attending his seminar and paying him up to $15,000, you're contributing to his wealth. He doesn't give a fuck about you.